Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today we are watching MT Wicket in his Turpid E tier 8 German Premium Battleship. He's on the map Northern Lights in a 4 point domination game mode and it's a tier 8 battle. Now I will put the link to the replay in the video description. I got this replay from bowreplays.com. Here in the beginning of the match, looks like Empty Wicket decides to go towards the point A. This Cleveland still hasn't moved, though he's probably still loading into the game. There seems another Turpid who decides to go here towards the left. This second user ah, the Atlanta is moving. Don't know exactly where yet. There are not so many destroyers in this game. One destroyer seems to be heading for C and the other for D, which is fine, but it means that this whole left flank won't have a lot of vision. Well, there is the carrier. The carrier could send planes over here. It doesn't seem to have launched any planes yet, so he's probably also still loading into the game. And yeah, the loading times, especially the first battle you play on it, they can be quite long. Now MT Wicket has noticed that there isn't really much support going towards A. This cruiser here decided to go for B. This cruiser here is still loading into the game and uh, two battleships alone going towards A might not be the best idea. I mean the, the carrier is only tier 6 so don't have to be that concerned about an airstrike but without any vision around here it's a bit risky you can see two enemy battleships they are have no clue what they are doing there is really nothing here up the northern border so no clue what their plan is. There also seems to be a torpedo here around. The friendly team has started capturing the point C and the point D. The enemies probably have a destroyer inside B and they have some cruisers directly in front of A. They will start capping now. Oh, it would seem that... Well, the, the cruiser Finally loaded it. Game is also going towards A, and uh, other cruiser has changed his mind. So now they have three ships contesting A. This could kind of work, but the battleship. Well, he he'd have to push right inside. And there is still a bit of a risk because there could be destroyers around. But the way they are driving, they can't really do much other than just shoot inside A and hope that they can get someone and this poor Miyoko here is sitting still which well it wasn't really the best choice there now the enemies have captured a one of those friendly cruisers is dead the other cruiser yeah you want to have the battleship in the front not the cruiser ideally but an enemy cruiser died as well, but it didn't matter, they already have this point. And the friendly battleship still isn't making an aggressive move. Problem is, if you are a battleship and you are this far away from... I mean, he can still engage this cruiser, but once this cruiser is gone, he will find himself here on the outskirts of the map with no friends. So if a destroyer sneaks up on him, he is pretty much exposed. If planes arrive, nothing can help him. And not an ideal position to be. Now, while I'm talking here about the minimap, we can see here was an airstrike coming for empty wicket, but it's only a tier six carrier, so it didn't do that much. And there are three friendly cruisers here, who might be close enough to provide some air support. There are also the friendly carrier is sending his planes here. And now this uh, enemy cruiser here 
But A is gone, and this battleship is in an awkward position. Because he's the Turpid isn't the slowest ship, but still, he is nowhere near the fight. And there is an enemy destroyer. And he's a slow battleship here. Now, oh, while all this that has happened, Empty Wicked, he is kind of looking for an opportunity probably to push towards a point. Well, the friendly team has started capping P, and Empty Wicked goes aggressively forward here between those two points, I guess. Well, okay, he's slowing down, so he's probably not that aggressively pushing at the moment. Now, while all this is going on, the friendly team has secured the point D. Point C seems to be under pressure. There is no one really there to defend. Those destroyers can hopefully deal with an incoming battleship. But they captured B, so that's great. And there are some torpedo bombers incoming, but there is still a friendly cruiser around. There is a fighter plane already going for those torpedo bombers. And this island will provide some cover. MT Wicked speeds up, and yes, the island ate one of those torpedoes. And the other two are easily avoided. On the right side, there seems to be a destroyer coming towards C, helping this battleship. Let's see how these two friendly destroyers can fare against those. I mean, they are now spotted, this destroyer. And, yeah. Battleship. Battleship. I got a lot. MT Wicked, meanwhile, is punishing these New Orleans for sailing broadside on. And hopefully the next salvo will hook this cruiser. You also see here the friendly fighter planes are hunting the enemy dive bombers and yes, they found the enemy carrier. Enemy cruiser is dealt with. You can see here quite a cluster of enemy ships who I don't know what exactly they hope will happen if they sit here. They probably should have pushed B with this force. Some okay hits on the New Mexico. Fortunately, they're still alive, but the next salvo should end this. And Empty Wicked is, well, with spot here, he's showing his broadside kind of to those battleships. And probably won't end well. But after dealing with the New Mexico, I suppose he will turn towards them and angle his ship. There is a tasty carry around here, but those, those ships are it's much more important to deal with ships around here now. Yeah, there's uh, two enemy turbulences and there's a Cleveland. So the odds aren't really in Wicked's favor. There isn't much support, there are some planes incoming, but the other friendly ships aren't around, so it's not looking very good for him. It's also not looking that great for the team at the moment. Let's hope that those planes can make some difference, although it looks like they are just 
I don't know what they are doing. They are just flying over all those ships and dying. Um, I think he meant to go for the carrier, but uh, he didn't pay attention and flew away Cleveland and got dragged. So that's, that's a pretty nice battle to watch. The torpedoes is using their torpedoes. Now the torpedoes has a torpedo launcher on each side and yeah, I think that will be a very nice hit. He managed to dodge the enemy torpedoes and yeah, yeah, very nice. But he got hit in the process quite a bit. And he still has to deal with uh, almost full health torpedoes. It's Cleveland and there is even a Miyoko in there. Now some reinforcements arrive here, kinda, I guess. Battleship should be able to support him. I mean this battleship down here might also be able to get shots up here. And the good news is the Cleveland is almost dead. And yeah. I mean, who knows, maybe these turpits will sail in a straight line. And you know, I get that for some people it's unexpected that a battleship can launch torpedoes and they don't get on for it. But if you are in a turpit yourself, you can't be surprised by another turpit having torpedoes. And hey, he got confederate. And look, this Torpids is also showing his broadside. Got hit by somebody else, I think. But yeah, uh, MT Wicked picked up the kill. So, six kills by now. And quite a lot of achievements. And hey, there is a carrier there for the taking. Carrier doesn't even try to run. But I mean, there is no way he could run. This carrier is good. Very nice. Enemy sunk. So suddenly, they are in a big lead. The friendly carrier is even wisely moving away because they lost the right flank. This carrier seems to be chased by a battleship, but. Battleships are kind of slow. There are some friendlies here to help out the carrier. And there are still two enemy destroyers around. And I really have no idea where they are. Well, one of them is capturing B. It's not looking too good for this enemy Miyoko here. And Wicked is unsure what the Miyoko's plans are, so he spreads out his shells in the hopes of some of them hitting. Ah, uh, he got one hit in. So they are losing. But I still have one capture point, and they have a lot more ships, and they have. Or points. And that is me quest on for. So only the two enemy destroyers remain. We know one was capping B. We don't really know what the other one is, I think. He's detected here so Probably something around here. But I mean, it's might not be impossible for those two destroyers to win, but it's highly unlikely. The uh, point lead is too high; they need to sink a ship pretty soon. And yeah, there is smoke, so there is a destroyer, there are some torpedoes here incoming, but 
Tipikit almost dodged all of them. And this Fubuki is, uh, yeah, in a tight spot. Under fire from three ships, there are planes incoming. And if you look at the points here, this game is almost over. And I sink the Fubuki before it ends. Almost. Ah, yes they can. Now let's take a look at the results. MG Wicked got almost 3000 base experience and 7 kills. Really nicely played from him. And I think his team did a decent job overall. Almost everyone in the team got at least a thousand experience, so nice to see. MT Wicked got himself Dreadnought, Confederate, First Plot, Kraken, Devastating Strike and High Caliber. A lot of credits earned. 6 torpedo hits in his turrets, 7 kills. It was, it was really a nice match. Managed to do, I think, something like 170,000 damage. And yeah, I really enjoyed watching this game. I hope you did as well, and I see you guys next time.